Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. It's the Coleman 440. I had one of these stoves for a long time and then I made the mistake of trying to store it in an old in a cooler to keep it um, you know away from the elements up at the other house but actually it got really wet and humid in that cooler and rusted the thing away so I was totally bummed it was um, it had to go but then I found this used one I just got this extra sack to put it in but it's pretty nice but I found this used one yeah on eBay it needed some work the um, gasket and everything on the plunger was old so I got a new one but it's hard to find the one that comes with the short pumping rod so this one sticks out a bit it's working really good I'm gonna pull it back apart and replace it with the original length and pull that thing off but god everything's working good right now so yeah better <laughs> better leave it be it's the um, classic old Coleman 440 dual fuel I only use the Coleman white gas on it and my other one too but I love these old stoves they're perfect for the um, the Bellman's fit like a dream right on top of them so it's a great stove for that a lot of stoves will work with the Bellman well I have three types here and um, yeah we're going maybe we should just light the stove up too which I think we'll do and then we'll look at these Bellman's here okay we got the magic lighter the um, Coleman 440 classic your fuels right in here you know, there's a lot of the canisters. All those other are great um, stoves, too. I just like that everything's compact. Not that big of a unit. You can carry it around. And I wanted to switch out of the alcohol stove. I just didn't um, I just didn't like the alcohol stove that much. I keep it as a backup now. Maybe in a little survival kit, but maybe not. I don't really... Um... So you pump these babies up. They're so easy. The little thing you know how to do the comb a lot of people show you how on videos and um yeah they just have the this is where i couldn't get it to seal when i first got it and i had to get a new generator but the new ones are for 550s and above they say so they are minutely different but i did by wrangling it around a bit i did finally get this part to seal and it's working really good now but it was kind of a challenge just kept leaking i was almost ready to buy a new like one for, <laughs> you know someone has a bunch still for like 150 bucks but this was like uh 30 and then another 15 there so i came out pretty good and it's the classic and let's see if it goes i pumped it up yeah they're like all of them Voila, it's going quick, usual. Lights quick and gets going. Now this is the Bellman I usually use. And you can see, or a Via Veneto, you can see that the only difference between these two is that this is a rounded top and this is pointing otherwise. They're almost the same. This steam wand goes out a little this one goes straight down as a single hole. I think this is a three hole. I don't know if I like the single hole, but I use this one a lot. They're almost the exact same thing. And then I have this one, which is really unique. I haven't ever used it, but I should. I was thinking of selling it on my Etsy site and been selling some of my uh, more classic machines, but it's the basically the same thing, but you have a different valving system here. So one day we'll fire this baby up too. But this is the one I usually use. It's full of water. And you'll see later in the video, I had some issues with the um, steam tip. So there we have the three versions. The uh, original Bellman by um, Benjamin and Medwin. I always say it wrong, but that's kind of the original version. Great machine. I like the way the, the wand goes out away a little bit. And then this is the Via Benito or something like that, but it's basically the exact same machine. Um, little tiny different valving system, but pretty much the exactly this. You know what? I replaced this valve. That's right. It originally had the same one, and I replaced this as a replacement valve. I had bought online with a single tip. But it's pretty good. So we're going to run this baby. Um, usually I put them on and heat them up. I open one of the valves up, either the steam or the tip so that I know when it goes. But we also have this one, which is pretty darn neat. It's a similar setup. 
don't know if I've had this one apart in a long time, but let's, yeah. It's basically the same exact thing, same basket, except that it has a little different valving and it has more of this type of wand, but not exactly. And the lid's a little different with its own, with rather than that, this type, it's a downspout. So it looks pretty cool. This one's in pretty darn good shape. Anyway, we're gonna let this one heat up. And uh, we'll do a show just on these and we'll make some coffees in the electric and here in the tabletop version. Yeah, so there we go. So we'll let this one heat up and let's see. I had some trouble with the steam wand, so we're gonna heat this up and see if that is, is working right. All right, there we go. There's our little steam release there. So let's see. I know we're pretty hot. We'll take this down. Yeah, we finally got some steam. Yeah, there we go. Not a lot of steam. Some water, we're almost to heat. That's where the pressure release is in these. And this, um, this valve may not be that gritty. Let's see. Valve may be failing a bit, but let's bring her up to a little higher pressure. But yeah, there she goes. That's how they work. And you'll see that um, we're going to go make some coffee with this. But I'm discovering here that the reason it wasn't that great is this valve is bad. So we're probably going to go over to this one. And we'll try that one out. But anyway, it's a Bellman. The two varieties and the 440 stove, it works really good with. And, you know, like a lot of times on the show, we discovered that there's an issue with this. Um, hey, with the valve, I can see that the nut turns. So, yeah, it sat around too long, but it's working really good. And uh, we're just, I just have water in it right now. But that's how they would go if we were going to make some coffee. But, yeah, that's great. So you... We'll make some on the beach with this, and then um, in the next another show we're going to come up. We're going to run all these, and we'll and we'll fix that valve. So the candle's pretty good. Just always test it. But yeah, there we go. 440, great little stove for the Bellman. Um, we'll let everything cool down, and then we'll put it away. And we had a success at work. We discovered our problem, and um, yeah, watch our little adventure. All right, this is what we like to take the Bellman up. And um, yeah, we will have a big surf movie. But yeah, we each went up. And uh, we like to take the Bellman and our little equipment and head up. And you've seen the other video, but there's some waves today. So pretty good ones. And uh, we each got a couple good rides. And there's each had a really fun ride. So that was really super epic. We went ahead and did that. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good day up there. Really nice. And then I got a little wave. I almost didn't make this one. <laughs> it shoved me around a little bit, but it's kind of like Waikiki up there. It's really nice and fun and pretty mellow. A lot mellower people than other areas. Because, yeah, you know, <laughs> surfers aren't always the most pleasant people and stuff. But anyhow, yeah, really had a real fun day up there. Got a nice couple waves, and you can kind of see what the day's like. And, We'll all go out surfing and have a little fun like this and, and we'll, you know, come in and hang around and enjoy the rest of the day. We usually make, you know, something afterwards. You're too excited to go surfing to have something beforehand. But then here comes Uta. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> I think we're ready to go in and make a little coffee and have a little lunch, a little snack and, and uh, relax a little while. So we have a nice day from out there. There we go. You gotta get out of the water. They have a little stairway, so there's a little technique. Don't let anyone kind of try to intimidate you to go quicker or anything. You just slip out, and your feet have to be a little tough still because it's a little grady, but it's a lot better than trying to scramble over the rocks with your big long board and everything. It's a much, much easier. To get up but it's a pretty nice little stairway they have there a little treacherous and then we parked over inside the harbor so let's rush over there and we'll um, get out and we'll make some espresso it'll be pretty fun so there it is in action you know we, we saw that the uh, steam wand wasn't working but 
I, I a lot of times bring a little backup system, but yeah, it works pretty good. Put it on the stove, you make yourself a nice little pot of coffee. I, I like to um, use this little metal, it's kind of a frothing picture, but I like to use it for the coffee to come out too, rather than just into a cup. So it makes a pretty damn good, you know, some people don't call it espresso, but I call them all espresso, anything where the water is forced through like this. So it's all up to you, it's no big deal. And just do a little tiny bit of warming. And this is that little frother I have. This thing works great. I usually bring it with my little bag when we um, walk into a beach and I carry it in my little pack. But yeah, there we go. This is working out pretty darn good. We have a nice little pitcher, enough for at least three nice little lattes at the beach or cappuccino, whatever you want to call them. And there we go. We got our German mugs going and yeah, that's it. Just heat the milk up a little. Of course, you got to test the handle, make sure you didn't heat it too much where you're going to scald yourself. But um, yeah, the little stove's working good again. This is how it goes. The little hand frother always does a nice job too. It's, it's a good backup. And I like to bring that usually when we're like walking into a beach rather than when you can you know, park your car or truck and kind of hang out by it, which is nice too. Tailgating is, is epic. I really like to do tailgating. There we go. All right, yeah. so we had three great lattes came out. And yeah, we really enjoyed them. I made a little snack up in that Gosun and we baked that up. So we had a really great day. And then, um, yeah, let's go home and we'll figure out if we can fix something. There we go. The stove. There we are, a little postscript. I pulled the old valve off. Uh, the little tip was clogged. And I think it needs a, um... oh, where are we? Gonna... I think I have a gasket, that little tiny tip gasket, but yeah, these aren't that hard of mouse, but we I put one of the original ones on. Um, yeah, it's working good. Let me just turn that off for a second. Yeah, it turns off good. And uh, this one comes out again. This was a straight one, but it yeah, it just had the tip was bad. Maybe I'll put a Lapaboni tip on there and it had a bad gasket in the end. But we're all tuned up. Let's see how this we'll build up a little. Yeah. I went to this rather one hole valve. But uh, I think I'm going back to the three. I thought the one hole would be easier to steam with with the pressure. But um, really the three. There's the three going off. Kind of. Great. All right, we did it again. 